Hello, my name is Brad Schaff, and I'm a meteorologist here with the National Weather Service office in Medford. Today is Tuesday, and we are going to be taking a look at the worst times to travel for Thanksgiving from a weather perspective. So first, let's go ahead and start with the best time to travel, which would be today, any time today, especially earlier, the better. Uh, because we're going to be seeing a pattern change to a with a series of fronts coming through that are going to bring some wet weather all across southern Oregon and northern California across the west coast of the United States. So basically the rain is going to begin tomorrow and then it's going to continue all the way through the early weekend. We are expecting winds to pick up on Thursday, particularly for the coast, and that's going to start midday or the late morning. Uh, and then it's going to spread to the east side of the Cascades on Thursday afternoon and evening. So even those of you folks who are making short trips over to friends and family, you could see some strong gusty winds impact you. The other part that I want to mention about winds is that if you're traveling south from Medford on I-5 or in the Shasta Valley, that area is going to see the strong winds both, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So moving on. It's going to be pretty impactful with this rain since it hasn't rained in a few weeks now. Oil has had the chance to build up on some roads, and so they could become a little bit slippery. Uh, so even in the absence of snow, roads could be slippery. So we advise you to slow down, be safe, and take your time. Uh, allow more space between you and the person ahead of you. The next part we want to talk about is snow levels. Uh, basically, we're looking at snow levels in the higher passes. So that's going to be those Cascade Passes, maybe even Cedar Pass and the Warners. Uh, those snow levels will start around 5,500 feet to 6,000 feet, but they will be dropping below the Cascade Passes on Wednesday night into Thursday. That's highlighted in red. And then we're going to have a little bit of uh, raising of the snow levels on Thursday night with the incoming uh, secondary front. but as that front goes through for Friday afternoon into Saturday morning, those uh, snow levels will be dropping very quickly on the backside of that front below those Cascade Passes. So a Wednesday night and Thursday, and then again Friday afternoon into Saturday, we are expecting snow on the higher passes. So that would be like Lake of the Woods, Diamond Lake, or maybe even uh, Cedar Pass and the Warners. If you're looking at Siskiyou Summit, we're looking at snow levels to be mainly above Siskiyou Summit Pass on I-5. However, with those low sn lowering snow levels on Friday night into Saturday morning, uh, we are expecting those snow levels to drop below that 4,300-foot mark uh, Friday night. So we could see a little bit of snow. However, the precipitation will be starting to end on Friday, so it's really a balance as to how fast those snow levels drop versus when that precipitation ends. Overall, we're not expecting a lot of snow on Siskiyou Summit, but we could still see some snow at the very tail end of this these set of systems. And then if you're traveling north from Medford on the Sexton Pass and Canyon Creek up to Portland or Seattle, we're looking at rainfall for the entirety of the event. However, just to be clear, even in the absence of snow, roads will be slippery due to that rainfall. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at some weather, winter weather precautions that we have. I'll let you read that at your leisure, but I do want to emphasize that you should bring your emergency supply kit with you, and that should include food, water, blankets, any medications that you're taking, a flashlight, fully charged phone, and a phone charger. And then as you're going over the passes, make sure that you're carrying chains or snow tires as we are entering those winter months. So I hope you have a very happy Thanksgiving, despite the rain and possible snow, uh, and that you travel safely. Again, my name is Brad Schaff, and I'm a meteorologist here with the National Weather Service in Medford. Thank you very much, and have a great Thanksgiving.